What if you found a thousand dollars just lying on the sidewalk and you picked it up with a note saying that you had to invest it in the next 24 hours or else it would disappear? I'm curious what you would do. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I would invest a thousand dollars if I had to spend it within 24 hours. And again, these are gonna be some really great ideas and topics for how you should invest a thousand dollars Maybe you have an extra grand sitting around in your bank account that you're looking to invest in the most impactful way. Some of these might be kind of crazy and I think number six is going to be one of those ways where you might be a little surprised, but it's something that I've done in the past where I've gotten a great amount of value out of this investment strategy. And let's go ahead and dig into my top investment strategies for spending 1K in investing. Now, I also wanna preference this that this isn't financial advice, this is just me saying if I found a magical, mysterious $1,000 on the sidewalk, what I would do with it. Make sure you research and invest carefully. So starting off at number one is cryptocurrency. If I had $1,000 and I wanted to invest in something within 24 hours, I would go ahead and invest in crypto, probably around 70% in Bitcoin, 30% in Ethereum, and I would just let that sit in an exchange like Coinbase and just kind of let that ride over time. If you want to go ahead and get some free Bitcoin, uh, check out the link in the description below. You can get uh, up to $250 in free Bitcoin today. You don't need a way to find money on the sidewalk. I'm giving it away for free. Check out the description below. So in this scenario of finding $1,000 lying on the sidewalk, another great impact would be to invest in stocks. And I think if you're wanting to play it safe, investing in an ETF like the S&P 500, would probably be the safe bet. I've personally earned around 30% returns on my investments with um, the S&P 500. But if you wanna go a little bit riskier, I would go ahead and pick some sort of hyper growth stock. I would go ahead and pick some sort of hyper growth stock like the upcoming direct listing of Coinbase. I made a whole nother video and I'll link that below as well. If you wanna find out why you should invest in Coinbase and why I think it's going to be one of the biggest stocks of 2021. Moving on to number three is to build a business. Now, I know $1,000 probably doesn't seem like a lot, but it's enough to create an online business. And within 24 hours, I've actually built websites within a few hours. It doesn't take that much time. And it's a skill that I've learned over the past five or six years of building websites very quickly and at a low cost. I would say the average website that I build costs well under $1,000. So I would probably spend two or $300 building the website, getting the domain, getting the hosting, spending on some themes and stuff like that. But then I would put the other, I don't know, $800 into marketing this business as fast as possible within 24 hours. And uh, the biggest way to do that would be ordering content, getting those blog posts ordered, getting some SEO stuff ordered, getting some backlinks to that. So I think within a, a day, I would be able to build a website get some content ordered and spend that money. Uh, even though the, some of the services might take a while to turn around, I'd be able to spend that thousand dollars like that. So if you're interested in making your own online business, make sure to reach out to me. I can try to point you in the right direction if you have a thousand dollars to invest. But again, a lot of times you're gonna need a lot more money than that unless you have a few of these certain skill sets already figured out and already established. So moving on to my fourth investment strategy is to invest in educational products. So I would probably spend at least 100 to $200 on audiobooks, uh, eBooks, or physical books. Again, I think that you can get so much value for the amount spent on books. It's crazy. Find some of those books, and I actually have a video where I talk about my most impactful books, so I'll, I'll also link that below. Uh, but investing in books is one of the greatest returns that I've had for the amount of money and also in educational products. So if you're wanting to learn more about starting a business, maybe you could spend $500 to $1,000 on an educational product that you know is going to give you much more ROI in actually taking that course, learning more information, and essentially just learning online on spending that $1,000 and finding a way how you can turn that into 10,000 or 15,000 or $20,000. Again, I think when you have $1,000 investing in, in educational products is probably gonna give you the biggest ROI over a longer period of time. Then the next thing I would say, if you have $1,000, invest in yourself. And I know that's super cliche to say, what does that actually mean? How do I invest in myself? I think, you know, maybe it's a combination of educational products, getting books, but I also think it's nice to make sure you're also eating healthy. The healthier that I eat, the more that I exercise, the more wealth that I accumulate, it all kind of goes into this perfect triangle of eating well, exercising, working well, 
and staying efficient. So investing in something like a gym membership, uh, some type of nutritional diet that you're going to be putting on, I think a lot of that will pay off way over time because you're going to be living longer, you're going to be living happier, and you're going to just be feeling better and be more motivated to work harder and make sure that $1,000 goes to good use. Definitely invest in yourself if you know it's going to pay off and you know it's going to help you out down the long run. And then lastly is investing in technology. Now, I'm not saying buy a tech stock or something like that, which is probably a good option, but buy a good piece of tech. And right now I'm filming this uh, video on my iPhone. Find something that can make you money. So my iPhone, my laptop have made me, I don't know, a thousand times the ROI since investing in that. It's something that I use on a daily basis. I get an extreme amount of joy out of learning videos on YouTube, listening to audiobooks, and also making these YouTube videos. I'm using my iPhone literally right now to make YouTube videos, and I use my laptop every day to make money online, building websites, making and running my online businesses, and again, buying this technology has given me such a big impact on my life and has given me such a large ROI. So uh, if you do have a good plan for the technology, I would say $1,000 is a really good amount of money to buy a used laptop that's really powerful. Maybe it's a year old or something like that, or to buy a one year or one generation behind a smartphone like the iPhone 11 Pro, which I'm using now for these videos. I'm curious, what would you do if you found $1,000 make sure to leave a comment below. And if you haven't yet, smash that like button. It really helps me gain more exposure on YouTube and share this video with more people like yourself. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification icon to get alerted about the two new videos I'm releasing every week. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your day.